Hey, what's going on guys? Some Bucky here. How are you guys doing? As always, you guys are doing well. Welcome to part 4 of my walkthrough for Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We're going to continue exactly where we left off from part 3, so if you didn't see that, I'll have a link for that in the description. Be sure to check that out so you know exactly what's going on in this episode. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey, what's going on guys? So Bucky here. How are you guys doing? As always, you guys are doing well. Welcome to part 4 of my walkthrough for Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We're going to continue exactly where we left off from part 3, so if you didn't see that, I'll have a link for that in the description. Be sure to check that out so you know exactly what's going on in this episode. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for its horses. Good call. Cool. Up and away. There. So far, so good. Uh-huh. That wasn't so hard. Open up Ganesh all these things. Trident. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. 
As with most, or pretty much all Uncharted games, and it definitely Uncharted 4, Tucked into the this game side. is extremely that on beautiful. With an axe. Yeah, this game looks very beautiful, extremely well made. The landscape and everything is just, I don't know, it's just extremely immersive. It looks so nice. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Are there stairs to go back down? Nope. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I should look for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them harm. Gives them purpose. Purpose. Sounds more like bullshit to me. I hope I'm going the right way. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Give me a second. I can wait. Time to go. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab strategy here? Sorry, I need a moment. Gotta collect some of these artifacts. Trying to hundred percent the game. Let's see what this is. saying about assault? Yeah. So, anyway. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work? Devious? Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah. You are. I'm a little surprised the sword's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than you think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then. I'll be right back. You got it. Let's go. 
Sit tight. Sure, go ahead. All set. Look there, one of Asov's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. That's very good. Oh, well. Figured if we were looking for a task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Is the gate secured? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Let's keep this quiet as long as we can. Copy that. We are not alone.
Shit! They are here! They've seen us, Fraser! <laughs> That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Where to next? Good question. Let's explore. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> no, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. about you. That's two. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go around and look for all of these things. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, there's one right here too. Noise, noise. Only one left. That's me a pain. It's as fast as you can move. Oh, here we go. Nice. Last but not least. Do it? Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term. The big wheel thing works. I'm going to pick up an actual gun. Okay. 
did it. Goddamn right I did. Nope. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. This shit's so dangerous. That thing just falls on you. That's it. You're dead. Um, but of course it falls after we're already in here. Ah, here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. No one. Easy enough. Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Fraser, mm -hmm. oh. huh. look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. I guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Boisalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. <laughs> So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well. Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Alright guys, that does it for part 4 of my walkthrough for Uncharted Lost Legacy. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. So you know exactly when I release uh, episode 5. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit more commentary. Again, it is pretty late here so I'm trying to, you know, refrain from talking too much and waking people up. But uh, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, take it easy guys. Peace.